Hey everyone, Blauik Yakov here, and today we have an exciting announcement for version 6.2 because we now can support infrared devices. So you can control things like your smart galaxy lights, your cheaper smart plugs, or even your TV, for instance. And all you need is a Broadlink device. So to get started, just make sure you get a Broadlink ARM4 Pro or ARM4 Mini. ARM4 Pro will run you around $40 and an ARM4 Mini will run you around $20. The difference is that the ARM4 Pro supports RF, which allows you to control, you know, things that don't have infrared. Most things that don't have infrared are either using RF or maybe Bluetooth, but it's mostly RF. LumiaStream doesn't support RF yet, but it will in the next future updates. So if you want to future proof yourself, get an ARM4 Pro and we'll link to these down below. I believe ARM3s will work as well, but since I don't have one myself, I can't really speak to it. I have both an ARM4 Pro and an ARM4 Minty. And then quick disclaimer before we begin, IR is limited to a few feet. So on their website, they say it's limited to 26 feet, but you know, I think even that may be a little too much depending on your circumstance. Just make sure, you know, wherever you set your arm for, you have it somewhere in a good place next to your other lights or devices that you're trying to control. So that's it. Just make sure you download Lumia Stream from lumiastream.com slash downloads. And let's get started by connecting IR devices to your Twitch, YouTube, Facebook streams. So before we connect the ARM4 to Lumia Stream, you first need to connect it to your Wi-Fi. You'll do that inside of your Broadlink mobile app. Just set it up the Wi-Fi. Don't set up any buttons if you don't want to, because we won't be using those. And then after you get it set up to your Wi-Fi, we're gonna go to Lumia Stream. We're gonna go to connections, add new connection, and then Broadlink. Press connect. And if it's already connected to your Wi-Fi and your computer's on the same Wi-Fi network as the ARM4, then we'll just select that and press next. Just refresh. And if everything worked correctly, head to your dashboard and you'll see Broadlink show up as green. You'll also see a new tab on the sidebar called Library IR. This is where I'll be learning our commands. So I'm gonna go to Library IR and I'm gonna press Add Infrared Code. It says recording, point your infrared remote at the receiver and press the key that you wanna record. So you're gonna take your infrared remote. So I have my Galaxy Light here that has an IR. And then I have my Broadlink device. You'll see that it's lighting up orange. So that means it's ready to record. I'm gonna first learn the power button. So boom. And the light will go off if it recorded correctly. You also see on Lumia Stream that it added correctly as well. I'm gonna give this a name like Tutorial Power Galaxy. I'm gonna press done. And before I leave this page, I'm just gonna do one more. So add infrared code. And let's say we wanna turn on the red light color. So I'm gonna press R, I'm gonna call that red, tut red. And I'm gonna do green, tut green. And let's also do blue. Tut blue. Okay, so I have my tut power, tut red, tut green, tut blue. Press refresh. Now we're gonna set up these commands to be controlled through chat. Let me turn this off. And I'm gonna go to commands, add command, and then press broad link right here. I'm gonna select my device. And in the value are the ones that I just created. Now, let's say I missed one. I can also record a new IR code directly from here. So I wanna input white as well. And I'll put tut white, press done. And now I can select that value here. So let's say I just want this command to turn on or off my galaxy light. So I'll go to tut power galaxy. And I can even test it out. So you see it just turned on and then it turned off. So let's call this gal off. I don't want any of my other lights to change. And I also want this to skip the queue. So I'll press apply. And if I go over to my channel, I'll put exclamation point gal off. And then, well, of course it turns it on. <laughs> but it's just powering it, that's all it's doing. So now let's set up another command that's called gal red. 
no light change because I don't want my other lights to change at the moment. Go to broad link, set up the value, tut red. I'll press add action. And let's try it out. I have to turn my light on first. Then I have to do gal red. But you see the white light is on as well. So I also need to turn that off. So you want to keep track of what state your light is in because these are dumb lights. They only, you know, react to the infrared control, which is normally controlled by a human. But since you're automating everything, you have to think about how you're going to set everything up. So a way to get by this is making sure that whenever you turn something on, you turn it back off in the end state. So I'm going to press end. I'm going to go to Brawling Arm 4 Pro and I'm going to do tut red again. So this means it's going to turn it off after it's done. So let me just manually turn off this white light. OK, so now red is on. Turn off red for now. And now if I do exclamation point gal red, it'll turn it on for four seconds. And it'll turn it off. Perfect. Now you can mix it up a little bit. You don't just have to do red. So let's say I want to do red in blue. I'll add red. And then I'll also add blue. But of course, in the end state, I want to turn this off. I'll just call this gal. Press apply. And let's try it out. Gal, red in blue. And it waits four seconds and then turns it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up a studio item with the Broadlink device to make it more, you know, interactive. Now with a regular reaction, the only thing you can do is set up Broadlink inside of the left side right here. Add action, I'm also at the same in action to turn it back off. Press done. And now when my reaction plays, it's going to turn my lights pink and turn that green. And then when it turns off, it's going to turn off. But the issue is that if I wanted to do something like this, my lights will turn pink and green, but my broad link stays green. This is not necessarily what we want, right? So what we're looking for is actually an animation. So I'm going to go to animations, add animation, and I'm going to call this gal police. I'm going to set up two slots, one red and one blue. But now I got to add my broad link device. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to go to advance and I'm going to press manage broad link. I'm going to add that and I want to turn my light red. And then in the end tab, I want to turn red off. I'll press done. Close this and then go to my second slot. So the blue slot, I'll go to advance again, manage broad link. And I'll turn that blue and then turn blue off. So now watch this. I'll press test. That turns red and my lights turn red. And also that turns blue and my lights turn blue. And then when the animation is over, everything turns off. Perfect. Now you can put this in an alert. You can put it in a chat command. You can put it in a Twitch point if you want. Um, so many options, you know. Now get creative. You can use this broad link device to control any infrared device. So TVs, galaxy lights, cheap lights, anything you can think of, stereos. I don't know, even your projector if you want. But like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you're going to be using this for in the comments down below. And we hope you all have a luminous day.